Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Honda Ridgeline Touring. Now the most notable features on this Touring is its power moonroof. You have your heated and cooled front seats as well as your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Honda Ridgeline Touring. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Touring is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And as you can see, you also have the hood deflector on here with your parking sensors. And over on the side, you have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards up top. You'll find the integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and your heated mirrors. And the color we're gonna be taking a look at today is green. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your gray interior with your power driver's seat with the lumbar support on here. And over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see your mirror controls with your eco on. You have your lane cape assist, traction control on off, parking sensors on and off, window wiper de-icer, and then on the inside of the driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls with your power locks, window locks, and window controls. Now, taking a look at some of the controls you'll find on the steering wheel, you have the volume control with the Bluetooth connectivity and voice recognition. As you can see, you have the heated steering wheel on here as well. Cruise control along with your scroll function as well. And if we actually take a closer look, you do have a push button start. So all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now you have a digital speedometer along with an exterior temperature gauge and if you want if you scroll through the menu screen you'll find a couple of other additional features located on here as well so if we actually take a look here you have your tire pressure monitoring as well as your oil life and a couple of other additional features as well now, uh, taking a closer look just at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features. So when you hit the home screen, you're gonna find your navigation, phone, info, audio, as well as a couple of other additional features. Hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings along with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger with your power outlet, USB, and some storage space located down below, matted to an automatic transmission. Now, if you take a closer look up top here, you're gonna see your integrated garage door opener controls open and close for the power moonroof, flight controls, sunglass case holder, and taking a look at the backup camera. As you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. And you can also change up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional, uh, sorry, traditional backup camera view you're used to or a downward angle just to see if there's any obstructions in your way just before you back out of your driveway in the morning. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now, looking at your rear bumper, you're gonna see your parking sensors located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you'll find the backup camera and your rear hatch release. So you just wanna make sure everything is unlocked there first, just cause it does uh, lock itself automatically after leaving a certain distance from the vehicle, just to make sure everything is safely secured. So as you can see, you do have the hard tonneau cover on the back, which is nice cause if you have any uh, items that are placed in the back here and you don't necessarily want them getting wet, then you definitely have that uh, handy for you. Now, one of the nice things with this Ridgeline is that I can actually open up the tailgate to two, one of two different ways. So the one way you just saw, and then if you take a look on the right hand side, you'll find a handle that you can actually open up. Just, uh, like I said, you just wanna make sure everything is unlocked for yourself. And then it'll open up sideways, just to make things a little bit easier for you if you want to actually throw things in the back. And then you have some storage space located underneath the floor as well. So if you want to hide away some smaller items, then you're able to do so. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. 
or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.